you read it right. Here are my 20 things you need to do before playing Farming Simulator 25. The first thing you need to do is you need to consider pre-purchasing the game. What you're going to do is you're going to get access to a couple of lawnmowers, I believe it is, and that is going to be something that is very nice and very good to consider. The second thing you need to do is you need to clean up your desk space, get it clean, get it all taken care of. The last thing you want to do is have a nice cluttered desk to assist you while you are trying to play a new game. My third tip is a doozy. You need to go put in your two weeks notice right away so you have all the time you want. Tip number four is you need to have at least 35 gigabytes of storage space on your computer or whatever it is you're gonna download on. The game is 35 gigabytes according to sources. So that means you wanna make sure that you've got enough on your drives. My fifth tip is that you need to wrap up your minor saves in Farming Simulator 22. Get those little worlds taken care of so that you can have your full attention ready for 25. My sixth tip is a doozy. Go take a shower. <sighs> tip number seven, go join the official Farming Simulator Discord server. And then while you're at it, go join mine. What you'll find is a community full of tips, tricks, and people just as excited as you are for Farming Simulator 25. Tip number eight is to set a reminder in your phone to update your drivers on your computer a couple days before release or before you intend on playing the game. It's going to make your life so much easier and less headacheful. This is one of my favorite tips. Tip number nine, you are going to start taking pictures of your feet and selling them online to finance your purchasing of the DLCs. We all know we're gonna want them. We all know that we don't wanna necessarily pay for them and selling these pictures is going to be a great way to come up with the money to do so. We're halfway through the list, so it would make sense to mention a Farming Simulator 22 thing that I still need to do, and that is I still need to mess with the crops. I haven't. I never mess with cotton. I never mess with the beets. I never mess with anything like that. So take some time so that when 25 hits, if they use similar mechanics, you're not completely lost. Tip number 11 is to go subscribe to Farming Simulator YouTube channels that you enjoy. What that's going to do for you is it's going to allow you to get some content on 25 as soon as possible. That's gonna help you understand maybe some of the nuances of the game that you might not know if you just go and pick up the game and start playing it yourself. These people know how to create content around 22 already, so 25 content is going to be pretty good. Number 12, I want you to call your ex and tell them that you finally found something that makes you happy. Don't say anything other than that. We want to leave them feeling in superior. Tip number 13 is I want you to go get a new desk or office space accessory. Whether you're in a gaming room or not, it doesn't make a difference. Get something new for your desk so it feels new and you can truly approach FS25 with a full on sense of like, yeah, this is going to be great. Set yourself that high expectation so that they can provide. For tip number 14, we've got a throwback. Go play FS14. Honestly, it is such a nostalgic game for me. I think it would be unfair not to recognize where we're coming from before we get into something as potent as FS25 looks like it's gonna be. Go play an old FS game that you used to play so you can truly enjoy the niceties that we get now. Number 15. 15 is one of my personal favorites. You are going to go invent a time machine so you can travel into the future and not have to wait anymore. Bring me with. Number 16 is spending some time outdoors. I shouldn't have to say it, but I'm going to say it anyways. Get outdoors, get some sunlight. It's no good for anybody just to sit inside and stare at screens all day. Spend some time outside so that you can spend some time inside and enjoy it all that much more. Number 17, take somebody on a date. Now, I know that this isn't an option for everybody, but for those that it is, take your mom on a date, take your wife on a date, take your girlfriend on a date, take somebody on a date. It could be even a sibling, honestly. It doesn't have to be a romantic date. Just say, hey, before I become a no-life and do nothing, for five weeks while I'm playing FS25, I wanna take you out for a special night. Take somebody on a date. Number 18, I don't know how well this will be received, but move to a country that grows rice. There's going to be rice in the game. I've seen something about it. Go get some knowledge on how they do it so that you are ready when the time comes, okay? That's a pro gamer tip. Number 19, organize your life. Figure out exactly what it is that you actually value and write it out, okay? If you value, hanging out with your friends, if you value hanging out with your family, 
if you value playing farming on the computer write it out write it out uh what that's going to do is it's going to say okay these are the things that matter to me and tip number 20 right behind it is now prioritize those things if you're a christian and you want to put god above all and then put your family and then put yourself that's what you need to do okay farming simulator comes after your marriage it's what it is okay it's truly what it is organize then prioritize that's number 19 and number 20. i have one bonus piece of information for you but before i get to that i just want to thank everybody for watching if you enjoyed the content consider dropping a like or subscribe if you really want to do that but here is tip number 21. You just lost the game.